people. Um. Damn. I didn't know how to start this video. So. This is the best I got for making it. I don't have a PC where I can overlay voice over a gameplay. So y'all can watch something interesting while I talk. Um. I've been wanting to make this for, you know, a while. In case you are actually one of my 10 active watchers, I'd say, at most. Um, I'm really hoping this doesn't get interrupted by some, some white folk. I don't think it will, though. Anyway, y'all hear screaming just now. People getting killed in the background. Um, I don't really know where to start this, but I feel like it'd be wrong to edit it until I do. So, a lot's been happening. Um, a lot of shit's been going down recently. And, you know, it's just had my mind going. We'll start with the first thing, which is actually relevant to the YouTube channel. Well, everything kind of is, but I haven't been uploading. Um, I don't know if it's been two weeks or not. Don't mind my anime binge watching. It's pretty much what I've been doing. In one day, it'll be two weeks since I last uploaded. And, you know, that's half a month. That's a lot of time. Um, usually, recently over the past year, it's rare I've taken a break that long. Especially when I, when I kind of, you know, have been enjoying the games that have been out. Usually when I stopped, it's just that there's nothing to play or I didn't enjoy the game anymore. This or that. But it's just like, I have no drive. Um... I downloaded Apex with the in, with the intent in mind, foolishly, to get good enough, since it's the game my friends play the most, that when I get good at it, I will be able to play with them and keep up. Well, you know, I played the game so much that I'm not going to sit here and like... I don't know, weird flex or something. Point being, I, I put in a shit ton of hours already. And the time they put in, they put it in throughout the course of a year at their own leisure. I kind of just forced Apex's dick down my throat. And um, I, I got really, really good at it really fast. Even now, after two, three games, I warm up and I'm, I'm, I'm still good. I say while well, missing two grapples, but, um, point being, I just haven't had the drive. I pretty much, this is what I do. I go on the firing range and just kind of sit there, but whenever I get to the lobby, I just never want to play. And I don't know if it's more of a mental block, you know, like how riders have like, you know, riders block or whatever. But I haven't been wanting to play. And I don't think it's something I can control. And the bigger thing is every time I play this game now. Ever since basically way back in, in Fortnite days. Where I started really playing, you know. Multiplayer competitive games. Um, it feels like every time I get on the game. It's less I'm getting on for me. And it's more I'm getting on for the channel. Because it feels less like I'm trying to enjoy the game myself. And I only want to, you know, output the highest tier of sweat content these little fucking hands can produce. So it feels like I've lost a lot of the enjoyment of the game. And it felt like more of a necessity towards the end. Even though all this happened in like one to two months of playing it. Um, that's just how it started feeling in the end. And I can't really control that. It just, it kind of dawned over me. Anyway, if you're looking for a quick paced explanation, you're not going to get it. Because I don't really know what I want to say myself. Point being, gameplay's come to a halt for a bit until I find what I really want to do. By then, um, 
I could already be doing something else. We'll get to that point in a minute, though. Point being, if I do play, I'm probably going to get on the game, but it's not going to be for y'all for a while. Um, almost every good game I've had in Fortnite or Apex ever since I started playing, and that's over the course of, you know, well over a year. Apex is newer, but it was still the same aspect with Fortnite. Every time I had a good game, a good moment, you know, I popped off. Same thing with Apex. It went straight to the internet. It, it feels like I never really have anything for myself anymore. You know, a moment that I, I can just share. You know, I can't share any moments with the boys anymore because we don't play Fortnite. And Apex is, God forbid, uh, you know. Hopefully dropping crossplay one day, but until then, we don't have that. So I'm kind of out of options. But point being, don't always play gameplay for a while. If you do, um, I I actually downloaded Uncharted 4, and I've never played an Uncharted game, and. I've been thinking about doing, you know, a gameplay on that, but it's just hard to want to do. I feel like if anything, I stream it. It just feels like I, I haven't played a game. The last game that I played for myself, and, it, and it's my favorite game to this day, is, is Spider-Man PS4. Because I didn't really upload anything of it. And the one clip I uploaded has like, you know, it's not even a minute long. And it's got, you know, the most views on my channel. It's like 5,000 or something. Which isn't a lot, but I mean, to me, that's a shit ton. Imagine lining up 5,000 people in one room, in one building, and then and then tell me how much 5,000 really means. But, enough about that. Um, number two. I got cleared for the military. I got my, I don't know. Listen, I got my shit done. So I'm able to join now. All I gotta do is pick a job and swear in. And I'm probably gonna be a tactical aircraft mechanic. I ain't gonna go too in depth about it. Just know that maybe I'll be going in soon, but there's a chance that I wanna check the Air Force job instead of Air National Guard, if you even get what I'm saying. I they didn't show me a lot of jobs, even though the jobs they showed me, it takes like, you know, IQ points. So it feels like it feels like more they're pushing the jobs that they only have or that they only want people to do right now is how I'm looking at it instead of jobs that I actually can do because I feel like with the score that I that I posed I was told I'd be able to almost pick any job I wanted and then you know I get the list and it's hardly 10 jobs but I go to the Air Force page and they're talking you know several hundred jobs. But that's too in depth about that. Just know that I'd obviously make a video before or when it's announced. But you know, I, I could be really going like no uploads for three months. I'm I'm not gonna be here. I'm not gonna see any of my friends, and that's that's kind of been hitting me different mentally. Kind of just been um I don't know. It just it's just been making me like. Take every day slower, I guess, or take it differently. Like, I'm still kind of doing the same stuff, and I'm, you know, talking the same way, and I'm expressing myself around others the same. It's not like I'm, you know, depressed. It's just like, it's a, it's a shock realization, I guess, the shock factor. My brain's wrapping the head of my... Exactly. Exactly. That's what my brain's doing. It's shitting on me. I'm, I'm basically trying to wrap the... Wrap the idea around my head that, you know, I'm going to be going to a different state, getting professionally trained for three months, and I'm not going to have anyone I know there. I'm going to be all on my own, and it's just going to be me, and I'm going to come back, and the reason I told my parents no Air Force at the start is because I'm a lax kind of nigga, you feel me, and I can do Air National Guard part-time. And I'm guaranteed to stay in state. The reason I don't want to do Air Force full time is because he was talking about you'd have to go get sent off to Texas and 
or not Texas. I'm going to Texas no matter what for um basic. That's that's happening. But they're talking about, you know, I'm going to get stationed and, you know, not in state and that's not that's not a life I want or will ever take. Being away from the people closest to me and trying to uh, you know, position myself in an entirely different state. Like I've lived in South Carolina my whole life. And I still hardly know how to get to Sand Hills, you feel me? Like <laughs> Um It just it's just hitting different a lot of stuff. Realizing that, you know the high school days are over, you know, the fucking bitches getting money and uh being the best at games is over, you know. It's not over over. I mean the high school's over. I haven't had any bitch in a while. Actually, I probably have in the last month. I forgot about that. Anyway, um, a relevant topic. What the fuck is wrong with me? It's just been hitting different. And that's another reason why I feel like I don't want to get on is because I'm not talking as much. Listen, this, this is sounding cornier and cornier the more I go on. But, you know, I don't have any of my friends to play with on here. And, you know, I, I still talk to them on a daily basis. Well, kept. Kevin and uh, Brandon are always dead. They've been dead in the group chat. And uh, Ryan is Tony's nigga, so I don't know about all that. But, you know, me and my me and my homeboy, we stay in touch. You, you feel me? <laughs> Boo for the bankroll. And um, I think I've just been enjoying the, the last days I have before real world starts. Because, you know. The rest of my friends, Brandon's doing fuck all, doing part-time jobs, not pursuing much. Uh, Tony's going to college, so his real life isn't going to start for a couple more years. But me, I, I'm about to get pimp slapped out into a different part of the world and get, you know, the shit beat out of me and get broke down and built back up from the bottom. And, um, I don't know what everyone else is doing, but it feels like... Grappling. It feels like I took the, the hardest XP boost in the real world. Like, all my friends are still, like, level 15. And right now, I'm, like, level 5. But as soon as I get sent off, I'm about to be in a level 50 environment with fucking, you know, goats in the real world. I don't know. I can't explain it. If you get what, you, if you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. If you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. If you don't, then... You don't, um, it just feels like I'm being thrown in a little bit harder after taking such a more lax route. Um, but, you know, I think I'll still enjoy it. It's still going to be an experience. And it's, the, it's the experience that I want and need, so, um, a couple other things. Where do I start? I don't really know. I kind of want to go back to the gaming topic. Cause those are really my two topics, but I want to talk more. This shit feel this shit feeling like therapy. If if I knew what therapy felt like, I don't really know. But you know, we can take a guess. Anyway, um, yeah, games are dry right now. Apex is just beating around the bush like every company ever has when it comes to making a official claim on the most important aspect of their video games. What I'm up to right now, um, I didn't die, in case you're that dumb. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm living either though. It feels like, feels like I, I've been, my life has come to a halt out of nowhere. Once I got the text message from my recruiter, he was like, yo, I went through, you just pick a job, swear in, and you flying off. And, uh, that shit, when I woke up and opened that message, it felt like everything around me just froze. It felt like time itself just just stopped. It was so many emotions. Like my my blood went cold, and I got like nervous and excited. And I also got I got depressed. I mean, who the fuck not gonna get you know hit different knowing you about to leave all your boys for three months? And um, ever since then, it's just been a little bit different. Like. I'm still hanging with the boys, and it just feels like 
it feels like my parents don't quite comprehend um since they kind of you know they've never been in the military or anything i don't think they understand how hard it's hitting me right now which is not really their fault but it's not really something anyone will understand unless you're in the position but it, it it's not like when i got hired at food line it's not a giddy excitement here we go you know booth with a bankroll we making money i'm fucking my bitch on the side it's not really like that it's like this ain't a part time. This this is me. This is going. This is about to mold me into what I'm gonna become in life. And um, I feel like I feel like everyone around me kind of is just rushing me into it. Like I'm trying to research the jobs, look into it, and they're already like, oh, within the next week, you need to know what you're trying to do, and this and that. And I know it took a while for everything to go through, but now that I know the jobs I want, I really want to take my time and look at all of them and look at, you know, different options, because this is, this is the class selection of a video game. This is, this is the legend screen in Apex is where I'm at in life. And I feel like if I choose the wrong choice, you know, then I'm going to be fucked for life and I won't be able to turn that around, because if I choose the wrong Okay, listen, listen, this is going way too deep. I just, I'm just trying to do what I know will make me not happy, but probably the most money and get it over the quickest. Because the quicker that I put in these four to six years, the quicker me and my nigga go down to Florida and get bitches while I probably station down there. Because I'll see if I can get restationed or I'll, I'll learn an IT skill where I can, you know, go to Florida and get an IT job down there anywhere. You know, hang with my boy. Because right now, this is like, this is going to be like the six years of hell. This is the, the, the filler arc of my life. And I know it's coming and I know how much it's just going to, it's just going to really suck. I'm not mentally torn. I don't. I don't think if I got my cheeks ran, I'd be mentally broken. I just, I got mental fortitude, you feel me? I'm not no white bitch. But, it's just hitting me different, processing it. That's not me being mentally, you know, fucked. That's just, it takes time to process what you're about to be doing. I mean, this ain't no joke. This ain't no game, you feel me? I'm about to really be out here. I'm about to be out here like Octane the street. You get what I'm saying? No, I'm playing. I'm not. I don't have intent to kill people. I low-key thought about it, though, for a while. <laughs> that shit pays good, but, um, nah. I'm not that dumb, because I might like that shit. Whoa! But, um, yeah, it's just kind of how it's been feeling. Feels like a second to everyone else right now feels like a whole minute to me. And... During this whole time, instead of me being able to, you know, work out, get my mind in the right spot, my dad's waking me up at 6 in the morning, and I'm being dumb enough to stay up till 3 in the morning playing a mobile game for no reason. It's going to serve no purpose in a month when I'm probably gone. Um, so that's just kind of what's happening. I'm being work like a dog every day now that Pops is off work, and this is kind of where I'm at with it. I mean, there's nothing... Nothing too deep, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I'm trying to go with this. Point being, y'all ain't getting uploads because I don't feel like playing. Um, when I play with Tony, I feel like I have a reason to play, and he doesn't have a PlayStation, so unless he's on Natasha's station, you feel me? Homo, no homo. There's no reason for me to get on. Brandon was on PlayStation once when he did that like ignited a huge spark in me to keep playing the thought of us all playing together after I played with Brandon and Tony I realized you know what it could really be and That was when I started taking it a lot more serious and then I just poured in so many hours I don't want to say I burnt myself out because when I play the game itself with Tony or someone the game is still fun. If I didn't enjoy playing the game, I wouldn't get on. When I was burnt was when I stopped playing Fortnite. Even when Tony and uh, and Brandon were online, you know, they'd be like, "Yo, you want to get on?" I'd be like, "Nah, I don't. I don't like that game." 
and then you know they finally realized that I was really kind of done with it and then they were kind of done with it around the same time like I was I was really done with it come on, come on, come on. so I was just kind of in a, in a state for a while where I didn't know what to play because I don't I don't like what Fortnite did to their shit I don't like the route they took it just don't get why they had to blow everything out of proportions like I guess you have to keep a game unique anyway we're not here for Fortnite critiques um yeah yeah, I said, I said the thing about Spider-Man PS4 being my favorite game because I got to enjoy that to myself. And then I upload a video, and I still replay that game to this day. And it's a game that I play with nobody, and I talk to nobody in a party. I jam out, listen to music, and I just vibe around the around the city of Queens. Like, I don't know. I feel like gaming experiences you keep to yourself mean a little more than just uploading it to the you know fucking World Wide Web for everyone to see. And, you know, I don't know how much I've gone over. And I'm sure as soon as I upload this, I'll be like, yo, I didn't talk about the one thing I wanted to talk about. But hopefully y'all understand a little bit what my mindset is like right now and why I'm not um, uploading. Um, it, just, it just doesn't feel very... I don't feel like I should be doing it, so I'm not. And if I'm not playing games for me, I'm not gonna play games for anyone. Cause that's just pointless. I play games to enjoy them. I don't play games to, to please others. Like every day I get on, tons of people invite me, but I don't know them. I don't know them. The dudes that I did know on this, on this PlayStation, first off, number one reason I switched, was for nobody. It was for Spider-Man PS4, and I still don't regret the decision. So that's why I'm here. Uh, okay. Um, but the people I knew on this thing were Stefan, Brendan, Gage, and Bo. Those are my friends. Before I realized they weren't friends, and I realized that I only need about two real friends. Um. So. You know, they dicked me over, did me dirty, did me wrong, threw me under the bus, um, stopped being my friend. I stopped communicating with Gage. Um, Gage was always kind of weird to talk to anyway. Whenever you talk to Gage, he never really felt like he was listening, and it never really felt like he was he cared. So, like, he felt like a fake friend, even though he never did anything to be fake. But, you know, as soon as I stopped being friends with Brendan, he's... You know, I haven't heard from him since I haven't gotten a single message. Bo, um, not much to say there. I had Bo. We were talking about balling a while back. I never got back to him. And then a week ago, I see that he went, after he stopped being friends with Brendan, they done, you know, kissed and made up and shit. So I unadded him because I want nothing. I, I will not affiliate with with Brendan Wiley ever again. That, that won't happen. Stefan, uh, I feel like. Uh, Whippersnapper broke his heart in half because Stefan realized that he didn't care. Um, he would always leave Stefan for his bitch. So as soon as Stefan stopped being friends with Whippersnapper, he started feeling terrible about what he did to me because then he had no more friends. So, you know, he threw his little hissy apology. We played a couple games of Smash. I ran his shit, and that was that. Um... And then well, what goes around comes around. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. And it just feels so much has changed, I guess. Like, back when I knew Whippersnapper, I feel like I was only 20% as close to, you know, my real friends as I, as I really was. I mean, Brandon's my dude, but me and him have never hung out just me and him before. Me and Tony, we've... I don't think there's much you could name that we haven't done together. we fucked a bitch next to each other. You know, we've gone out of our way for each other. We've almost gotten in fights together. We've done it all. I mean, we've played games, shit, talked to each other. I, I'm pretty sure we've, like, slapboxed and tried to beat the shit out of each other a couple times. You know, raped each other. Whoa. Um... 
point being, Tony's really, uh, like, I don't want to say my only friend, that's incorrect. Let's just say, I'm going to be honest. Ryan, you a cool dude. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. We play on the same console. I never get party invites from you, and you and and I never send you party invites. We don't communicate. We don't talk. We're we're not friends. Um, Kevin, we're not friends. We were, we were, uh, funny haha -ha friends in school, but outside of school, we almost we hung out maybe once. I get you had some stuff going on, but but let's be real, dog. You you never made the effort. Um, but neither did I, so it's equal. I, I still fuck with you, though, you know. I'd say you're a homie. Let's just say Tony's my brother, and, and Ryan's acquaintance level. Kevin's more of a friend level, since I did talk to him. Brandon. Brandon, I still don't know what you are. Because I don't know why, Brandon, but it feels like one day you're just going to vanish on us, and... That's just how it feels. I'm being real with you right now. Here it's just go. really how it feels. Come on, come on, come on. Like, I've done really nice stuff for you, you know, and you've looked out for me. Like, I've gone to Georgia to scoop you up when your, when your aunt was being all whack or whatever. And, you know, you've lent me money here and there for shit I wanted. And we've hung out together. You know, we've had laughs and shit. Hit the vape. You know, you used to come up to my car. So, we're definitely, you know, I'd say we're brothers. I'd say we're brothers. I mean... You're the second closest to Tony for sure, but the power scaling is just so much different because I've put, I don't know when it happened, but, but I've put, I've put a lot of faith in, into, into Tony. We click so well. It's just like, it's something you don't just get from a friend. It's, it's something you get from, from a, like a, like a comrade, you know? Like someone who who truly knows you and y'all are both cut from the same cloth, you know. Y'all both have problems. Y'all both gotten through it. Both y'all bitches cheated on you, you know. We fuck each other's bitches. We find the worst humor hilarious. We roast each other and don't leave the party. But Brandon, you real, you real. But it's just completely different. Me and Tony haven't even known each other that much longer than I knew you, but it's the amount of time, you feel me? We put in the hours in person, and when he was in Florida, not once, not once did I feel like I was not going to be friends with him anymore. Not once. The whole time he was in Florida, even when we didn't talk for like two, two weeks to a month, I still knew if I texted that nigga and I said, yo, I need help, that boy would run back. He would literally run back from Florida to help me. Because he knows that I'd run all the way to Florida if that nigga needed a headset to play Fortnite. Like, that's just what we do. We go above and beyond. Um, but I don't think words can really describe it. Words are just, you know, vernacular used to express ideas and thoughts. I don't think words can really express emotions that well. Um, but you get the point. That's my nigga. I know we going places. I mean, not once did we say y'all coming to Florida with us. Cause you not, you not. We gonna be homies on the system. We might hang out a couple times and whatnot. But, but that's my brother. You feel me? And um, I haven't even talked to him about this because it's just been on the back of my mind. And I still don't really know how to talk about it. I've I've opened my mind up about it a lot, so I guess will be different. I've kind of said what I wanted to say, but it felt like I got a lot of other shit off my chest too. But yeah, Brandon, I said you my homie though. You my homie. I mean, I don't want to say I feel like you worked hard enough to get it, cause that's not what a friend does, but. It feels like you've been around long enough and we've pushed you far enough to where if you were a faked friend, you would have left already. Um, you just a soft ass nigga, you sweet. You sweet, you sweet now from shit talk. You got really soft. You used to laugh off shit talk and laugh with us and now you just kind of 
setting you kind of just leave so it's kind of just how it feels now i don't know if you're doing it as a joke but it, it low-key be annoying every time something funny happens and then someone roasts you and then you just kind of vanish it kind of takes all the the humor out of it for me the humor for me is the reaction and the aftermath of the reaction not the shit that happens before listen i'm talking about dumb shit i Hashtag hates his therapy sessions. I just wanted to open my mouth and, and, and let some things off my chest. Um, and I feel like the best way to do it is make a video for the entire universe to see. Hell, I probably got my exes still watching this video. Yo, Ariel, I know I know you, you got like three accounts up to my channel. Hey, you still around? You know, hit my line. Um, Skinkle, I, I don't think I ever showed you my shit. Because I, I knew from day one that, that we would never be anything but fuck buddies even though i was in the shower with you it felt surreal but i still knew we weren't going nowhere just because i had a very out of body experience i never thought i had before the age of 20 um who else listen point being i brendan i bet you still watch these you watching all um i've seen videos i've i I seen the car facts. I get video. I get so many more viewers than it shows me when I go to YouTube Studio. So Brendan, if you still watch these dog, and you trying to make amends, come fight me, cause I'm gonna make amends by busting your head in, cause you're fucking worthless and you're gullible. You really fell for a black man lying to you and ruined something. But um. Hey, you fucked yourself over. Because Tony, you tell you, I'm the realest nigga in the world. But the reason I'm the realest in the world is because I only got two, three friends at most. We keep it small so we don't have, ever have to worry about being fake. Because the fakest niggas are the one that'll call you fake. But, um... Punching a tunnel. Tavon, if you still watch these, dog, you still suck at Smash. I ran your shit. You lucky I didn't record that shit on the phone. Um, if you want to get bopped again, hit my snap. Gage, I don't think you watch these ever. Um, but Gage, just know you hikey dog shit at Fortnite. You always were. You were the first one to play it, and you like flex that shit. But uh, you hikey trash. You're like really bad, like stupidly bad. Like your aim was bad, but then your building was bad. But we didn't play that long. So who knows? Maybe you got good. Bo, nigga, you just weird. I got no words for you. Congrats on getting through basic, though. I was going to ask you how that shit was. And, uh, of course, you had to go ahead and post some shit on your story about fucking Coochie Snapper. Add my nigga. That's my nigga. No, like he called me a piece of shit. You know, he called you a pussy behind your back, right? He, al he also said that uh, your ex told him you had a small dick. So... <laughs> Imagine your nigga calling. It. Imagine your nigga talking to your ex bitch and her calling your dick small. Anyway, um, um, I guess I'm gonna just tell everyone how I feel about everyone. Ryan, something wrong with you, bro. I I ain't looked at you the same since you did that shit where you made an account and acted like a girl to play Fortnite with me. That that made no sense. I think that's where I like turned off the the social meter with you. Like that's where I just stopped ever talking to you we used to talk about a couple things but after you did that shit dude that that's no debate bro that that's low-key something wrong with your head but i guess i'm i guess i'm uh too rude or too honest or maybe i'm just over exaggerating whatever it's fucked up and it's weird why would you act like you got a vagina to play with your friend on fucking fortnite anyway tony uh ain't much to say uh I don't know. There's a couple things, I guess. Uh, number one, uh, after I watch a three hour video on how a character works, I don't appreciate you being all like, acting like you know, you still know like a hundred times more about the character. That shit low key got annoying on contest the other day. Like, I was watching Saber 2 gameplay. Like, for four hours, I watched him run through a, I watched Seton run through like a six hour thing. This is such petty shit, though. Like, contest. You're telling me I don't know I played the game when you've owned it longer. <laughs> Forget I said it has absolutely no point. Except you were low-key like, no, his special too broken. Like, nigga, you don't own the character. Stop. How you know it's broken? 
The only thing broken about Sabretooth is his Fury stacks. Literally, that's the only good thing about him. If Fury didn't stack, he'd be absolutely fucking D-tier. He'd probably be meme-tier. Anyway, uh, Tony, my dog, you feel me? We can go to four to five bitches. You know, we done it all together. You feel me? Eat trash out of trash bins after school. Um, hook each other up with bitches. Um... That's really it. Kevin. Kevin. Let me put the controller down, Kevin. Because I low-key have always wanted to say a couple things to you, young blood. Kevin, you fucking weird. You know why you so fucking weird? Be because you would change the whole atmosphere of class just because your pussy was hurt. You cool and all, you feel me? Like, we hung out. We friends. You know, you dope. You funny, we, I played basketball with you not even two months ago, two, three months ago. But when you came in the problem stats, and your, your bitch acted up, your ex-bitch, whatever, whatever happened there. Um, whenever, whenever you would have a bad day for whatever reason, instead of being the happy-go-lucky Kevin and putting a smile through it all, you would literally come in class and not talk to me. You would say absolutely nothing. You, you acted like your whole family got murdered that night. When at worst, your mama, like, told you you couldn't take your car. Or your girl called you ugly or something. You would... It was it was bad stuff. I'm kind of, like, nitpicking here. It, it was sometimes bad, but it was never bad enough. Like, the day that, that, that Skinkle cheated on me... Um... Or the next day after I found out, I came to class and I was laughing. I was... The guy was hurt inside. Okay? A pussy nigga wasn't, only a pussy nigga wasn't admitted. Who ain't gonna be hurt, you know? You shower with the girl. You, you express your feelings with her. I never told her I love her, but you get the point, man. Actually, I think I did on text. Ugh. Anyway, you know, that shit happened. The next day I come in, I'm laughing with you. We having a good time. But the first time you had a bad day, you would ruin the whole atmosphere. You were a whole negative vibe. And, and since you were such an influence on the class, because you know niggas liked you and niggas knew you were a pop-off, you would ruin the entire atmosphere of the class. Deshaun would be like, yo, what's wrong? What's wrong? You'd be like, I don't want to say nothing. Low-key, that shit, high-key, made me want to slap the fuck out of you. And it came low-key close several times. Like, I remember walking up to you and I needed to talk to you about something. And you were like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about nothing right now, dude. Just leave me alone. Like, are you, are you serious? You don't say some shit like that to your niggas. And that's just bottom line. That You just don't say that. Me and Tony have had moments where we've honestly not wanted to hang out with each other while we were hanging out with each other. We've literally told each other. But we've never once told each other. Well, no, Tony did did tell me to leave him alone when he was talking to Rose on the phone that one time. But that's different. You, We were literally in class and, and you said that shit. In front of everyone. It made me look like like I did something. You literally said that. Whether you remember it or not. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're just so used to doing it. But it was like every three days, bro. The whole semester, you would have a bad day and come in. And just be so coochie hurt. Like, I'd literally walk in. And one day, I flipped a fucking quarter. You know, the quarter I got chocolate milk with? I, I flipped a quarter and I was like... It, uh, heads, heads, that nigga gonna be happy today. Tails, that nigga gonna be all butt hurt. I literally hit tails and I came in and your ass was all groveled down. You know, you ain't wanna talk to no one. Walked in with your head down like you some edge lord. That, that's not what edge lords do. Edge lords put on, put on a smile in the face of despair. You feel me? Um, just nitpicky shit though. It was high key extra as fuck though. But you're still my nigga. You know, we play ball in class. We laugh. That's not to excuse that we didn't have good times. We did. We absolutely had good times. Um, Brandon, you you've just gotten sweet, my nigga. You've gotten sweet. You you guys sweet. <laughs> you soft. You soft. Brandon, this 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 is no sarcasm, real nigga hours though. You are trash at video games, and I and I'm not telling you this to hurt you. As, as, as the best gamer in the group, whether y'all want to argue with that or not. Oh, I'm getting kicked out of fucking, what do you call it? Anyway, point being, I am the best gamer in the group. Across all the games, I average the best results. Whether it makes me the best of a specific game, we're not going into that. I'm the best gamer in the group, okay? 
I'm going to tell y'all that right now. And if you disagree, then you're just unintelligent or you're just denying it. Because I'm the best gamer in the group. I could pick up any game, put a month in, and be better than someone who's owned it for a year. Um, but Brandon, you, you know you're bad. And you used to always know you're bad. And we used to laugh because you used to accept that you were trash. Because you could put in a year on a game and someone who's half as good as me could put in a month and already be better. But for some reason, now when Tony talks shit, like when we're on Modern Warfare, and he piece you up after you ask for a quick scope in war, you hop off, you switch the whole vibe, because we don't know what to do from there. We ain't gonna run S and D without you. We can't. We can't run no fun games without you. So you hikey doing that like every time. It's not even funny half the time anymore. It's funny when like Tony really smacked you up and talked shit. But that's only because Tony talks shit. Because Tony shit talk is hilarious. I wouldn't say it's as funny as mine because when I do it I like go for the throat but calmly but you like get offended now like 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 you've all of a sudden stopped accepting that you're bad like why can't you just be good at making bread better than all of us like you 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 does this public shit you feel me but I don't know why you said you said that it was just because it was Tony um Tony can only make you mad if he's right. Whether he knows it or not. That's the only time I get mad at Tony. So, I can't really explain the situation where it's happened. But, if you truly get mad at Tony, it's when he's, like, constantly talking over you and he's right. If he's constantly talking over you and he's wrong, I just keep talking over him. Like, it's shit talk. Why I gotta tell, why I gotta tell you how to shit talk with your niggas? Like, why are you so soft? I shouldn't, this ain't a tutorial. I didn't make a haze of salt sweet nigga tutorial. I don't know how long this shit been going on. I hope it's not over an hour because I want to get all this in a video. Well, I guess I didn't say anything for like 10 minutes. But point being, I've said a lot about everyone that I wanted to say shit about. Um, so in a few months, I'm going to be going off to Karen Bread. I don't know when I'm going to play another game on this channel. Um, that You're just going to have to accept that. I can't tell you anything else. Um, people take breaks. I'm I'm not a I'm not a machine. I can't. I've been pumping out gameplays forever. I mean, I've been pumping out gameplays or AMVs for for three years, whether it was inconsistent or not, or like four. That's a lot of time. I I grew up through high school with this account. This account will always have something in my heart to look back on. And that's something not a lot of people can say. Plus, I'm good at games. So, not only am I looking back at what I was, I'm looking back at how good I still was. And how good I'm still gonna be. Because I'll never be bad at games. It's a knack. It's a talent. It's a whatever the fuck you want to call it. So. Point being. YouTube. I'm not gonna tell you that I'm not gonna upload for another week. Hell, I might wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what? Like everything I said, I'm gonna upload right now, but I can tell you right now it's not gonna happen. I'm uploading this today. Um, I'm uploading this Tuesday, April 14th, 2020, or at least I'm gonna try to. <laughs> I don't know how long this is, video is gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna stop wasting time though. <sighs> um, I don't really know how to end it. Just know, I gave you plenty of reasons why I'm not playing. I, I let off a lot of emotions about how I truthfully feel about people. Uh, if y'all actually watched all this, congrats. If you if you went through little pieces and parts and you just hit the ending now, and you heard what you wanted to hear, just realize this video is way too fucking long, and I didn't say anything. So you've come to the realization the that you're not watching this video, and you just want to see what I'm saying at the end. Congrats to you. Um, I'm not going to say like this video because I know I don't like these type of videos when YouTubers make them. It feels almost forced, but mine mine is real. Um, I don't know if it's real. It's just what I felt like doing. And I feel like some people have truly been watching me for a while. I know some people that, that have known me since middle school that, that still say they check out my channel every now and again. And... You know, to me, that's a community that, that I've kept entertained for a while. Whether my friends or the random people I met online that still watch. 
regardless of the case, this this channel, I am my own community. I watch my own videos. I watch every video I upload. Right out, I watch it before it goes up. I edit it, or if I don't, I just cut it, trim it, and then rewatch it. All I'm doing is trimming this one from the start to the finish. Enjoy. I'm hopping off. I said what I wanted to say. Um. And I guess I'll uh, catch on your blood later, you feel me? <laughs>